So lean manufacturing, a big topic in its own right, and again, we could be spending a lot of time in sort of the definition of that, but just to give you a flavor of the sort of things, you can see that we have a scheduling board that allows you to get that sort of visualization. Now, whether you're using that scheduling board or not, there is a, a very good Kanban board, uh, and this again is designed for doing things like scanning onto jobs, scanning off jobs, so you see the actual scan modes that we can actually work with here. I can see a list of working work to lists, so these are the actual jobs that are coming up. The ones that are ticked here are jobs that have already completed, so again, I can go back to the details there if necessary. Um, I can also see, if I just choose the instructions, if there are any production instructions, I can see the materials that I may be using it and where they're actually coming from. So those materials, of course, may be supplied from a Kanban on a supermarket basis to actually replenish uh, these parts of the system. It also allows me to do multi-level pegging. So within a Kanban environment, I can actually have different Kanbans at different levels. So the Kanban can be for a sub-assembly, it can be for the material move it can be for the finished product as well. Time performance indicator here, so this gives us a bit of a clue as to where we're at at this point in time, any messages that have been issued to me, uh, any transfer jobs, so if there are replenishment activities, somebody is already using Kanban to actually move goods from a supermarket or a warehouse area into the, uh, into the line side stock area, then we can see that those are due to come in, uh, etc. through that view as well. So this has lots of capabilities, as I say, starting and ending, lots of different things that we can start to, to look at in a lot more detail there, uh, as well associated to that. So those are, uh, that's the lean manufacturing part of the system, and that really draws to a, a conclusion the things that I got to, to show you in this session, really. So it's all been about trying to give you a bit of a flavor, a bit of an overview of some of the things that, and the features that are available in AX2012 from a manufacturing perspective. Now, of course, um, from the AX2009 point of view to an AX2012, there have been many, many features that have been introduced across the entire system. Um, and we'd be more than happy to talk to you about some of those in the future if you, if you want to discuss those any further.